on this beautiful fall day, so many of us plant trees close to a building. So let's talk about the basic things we need to consider when pruning a tree next to a building. As you can see, this tree has been pruned so that the leaves and the branches are not hitting the glass behind it. But the other key component is to make sure that the weight of the tree away from the building isn't too heavy for the balance of the tree. So as you can see, we have tremendous density in the front of this tree, which is about 80% of the weight on the outside of the trunk. That really needs to be corrected over time so that the trees are more in balance and won't have the tendency to pull away from the building. So Becky, come on in under the tree and let's talk about what we might do. When we're pruning trees, the first thing we consider is the silhouette. So if this one is against the building, the front needs to come over. So what should we consider? Do we want this tree to be over the walkway? Or do we want it to be shaped so that it's not over the walkway and that the branches end here at the sidewalks? That's a decision you can make and decide what you want to do. But the problem with this tree right now is the tremendous weight of the branches. Come look. See how thick our branches are and how dense they are. And this volume of weight is not good to have this much weight on the tree. So what might we consider? We might consider thinning. When we have a Y, decide to keep one or the other. And it's always a good choice if you can keep one that's narrower so that you can keep your thicker to thinner concept going in your tree. So on this one, we might keep this narrower one here and trim off this one completely. That would take a nice weight out of this center and you can see we still have beautiful foliage up on this branch right above it, which will be the silhouette of our tree. Same thing here. We might consider taking one of the Ys off of this tree. Which one? Well, if we're going to take leave this one, we might leave that one there. And again, we're getting this balance on the tree. So this one we might cut here. Okay. So you get the concept of over time, you want to take it so that you have less weight, less thickness, and less density in the front to balance the back, which we've trimmed to allow for being next to the building. So rebalance your trees, and next time consider a tree that has a more dwarf shape that you don't have to trim as much, and a little farther from the building so that it can have the full width of the natural shape of that tree. Enjoy!